Welcome to Movie Rants, the third show. Okay, actually the fourth, but that, that is due to... I don't count the extra show along I did for WrestleMania. Um, the third show, I'm going to talk about ghosts. And actually about the movie that gave the uh, ghost very much popular in this, this demand, Paranormal Activity. I'm not going to talk about one. I'm not going to talk about two. I'm not going to talk about three. But... In, but a movie will come out first on the 18th of October here in Europe. And that movie is called Paranormal Activity Number 4. Um, it's not directly said what the movie is about, but we can figure it out actually. But what is the meaning of this movie? Well, it's a little bit closer still, but um, if you look at the past three movies, um, it probably will be the second part of the youth of Katie. And um, um, but the, the, due to when we, we when we and they made number three, um, they left some things out. What they have been talking about number one and number two. Let, let's take for an example. Um, in number two, uh, they were talking about that uh, her mom cried a lot. It was not in the movie, but. They can't also put it in four, and why not? Due to if you saw number three, number four of uh, the mom dies at the end. So it's a little bit mystery what they want to do with the movie now. And I think um, what they, I think, and also the house burning down, that's not been in there yet. What they talk about now in number one. And do we actually get to see the ghost this time? Because I really want to see the ghost. I'm wanting to see how it looks like, or the demon, or whatever. You could see it a little bit in part three, when the, the dust in the earthquake came down over the, uh, the demon or the ghost, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's it. I, I want to see it in full person. And that's my opinion. If I give real my personal opinion about it, should this movie be made? No. It should not even have a number two and number three. Paranormal activity, uh, paranormal pictures, they screwed it up. And why did they do that? If you look at the first edition of Paranormal Activity uh, number one, I'm talking about the version you, bef uh, that Paranormal, paranormal Pictures, uh, before they bought it, Katie was shot by the police and what Paramount Pictures did, they made a new ending and Katie left and they can screw around the title and get even more millions out of it. If it was for the better, no. Actually number two sucked so much, uh, the, the, the number two was not that frightening and number three, well it, well it was better than two but still it sucked very much and so I'm scared that if when number four comes out, it will be also very boring, very dull, and um, so that that's not a good idea. So we can they can do with number four two things. Actually, if you look at it, they can go further from where number one and two is ending, or they can tell the story what happened and how the house burned down. And how the mom crying, but the only thing that can be saluted in that case, but then there's made a mistake in number two, that the grandma was crying because she survived. Now, that is a little bit hectic. I, I don't think the movie is, uh, I don't think it's necessary. I think they made a lot of money out of it. I think they should leave it alone because how more movies you make of it, how better of how worse it will get. As example, pair of um, uh, the Blair Witch Project. Number one was a classic. Same kind of movie. They made number two and the whole movie was screwed up. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm, I'm, I'm asking Paramount Pictures actually to stop the project because they only screwed the movie over and it's only about the money why, the, why they're doing this and that's it's because of to make a further good deal. Okay, 
you can see that that's a lot of movies why they make a second, third and fifth and whatever, how many moves they make. Of course it's about the money, but you also have to make it believable. And if you screw the movie already up in number three, yeah, but the crying of the mom, of the house burning down, what well, didn't happen. So I'm wondering what it will be about. So it can be about two things. In the better of the movie, I think it would be even if they go further in the end. Um, what happens to the little baby Hunter and Katie? Um, will they get released from the demon and stuff? I think that would be even a wiser idea. And not to go further with where number three ended. Let that be. They let the house burning down be some what didn't have to do with the ghost. Just happening. So, if, if you look at the movie totally, it's fun. And uh, when I saw the number one, I, I really was impressed by it. The, the real original, original, uh, original version, not the Paramount shit they made. Sorry, I'm talking about that. I'm losing the language, but I think Paramount Pictures really screwed that movie over. So, if you look at it, I think it was good. It was very impressive. Even with the low budget, I think it was around $10,000 they used on it and they made millions already about it. So it's very wise done. I like the shadow effects. Um, and even today, if I still look number one, I still see new things. I'm talking about the original version, so the, not the Paramount, uh, Paramount Pixar version. If you ask me the, 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 the downside of number one, well, that's very easy. Um, it's a couple, it's filmed every night for 21 days, and to be honest, they didn't even touch each other, they don't even have sex, sorry, or they have a bad marriage or a bad relationship, but that's the downside, that, that's, you know, I'm not, I'm not wanting to see a porn movie, no, I'm not, I'm, but it should be more realistic, you know, and they're, they're just sleeping and it's good night, maybe one kiss and that's it, and Okay, it can be also, and not criticizing the American audience right now, typical American, they wait till they get married. Well, I don't believe in that bullshit. I don't believe that bullshit either that American is doing. Sorry. Um, it's so before the 60s, you know. So that that's the little bit downside. That that's the not realistic version. And... Um, but okay, you can't make... a a movie so realistic, um, so I, I'll forgive them that, I'll, I'll let them be. Um, if you ask me, do I believe in ghosts? No, I don't. It's bullshit. Ghost doesn't exist. And ghost really doesn't exist. It's bullshit. There are no ghosts. If you die, you die, and you're gone. That's it.